Hey, uh, Tom Lucas here. This is my first podcast. You, you had mentioned in Wimba, Dr. Siegel, that you wanted to see what we look like. You wanted to see our faces. So here's a picture of me uh, at my high school reunion um, playing a role, but I don't think it's very unique or original portrayal because I think a lot of people play that role at a high school reunion. And that was basically, look how good I'm doing kind of role. But anyway, um, to answer the questions for this week's um, podcast, um, the first one is, is how can I use role playing in my subject? And I already do. There's a couple of things that I, I do in my class. I teach journalism, and journalism is a very active kind of thing. It's a, it's a doing kind of class. And a lot of my activities are, are hands-on and group activities, and they involve a lot of uh, socializing between my students. And one unit I do is um, an interview unit, and I help teach them what kind of uh, good interview skills they might be able to have. Um, there's two activities that I do for this that are role-playing based. The first one is to warm them up to the interviewing um, process is that I have them do an interview um, of an inanimate object that is on their person. So the kids have to go through their bags, their pockets or whatever, and pick an object and then write a 10-question interview. And they have to write the responses that that object might say if it could talk. So they have to kind of uh, role play for the object. So it's kind of an individual activity, but uh, it's a lot of fun. For example, one student may interview their cell phone and ask them, uh, who's the your least favorite person that I call? And uh, the phone will respond, usually with something pretty funny. And then the other thing I do is a mock press conference. I've done a variety of these, and you will see more of that uh, with this week's assignment, uh, the role play adventure, because I'm, I'm going to transfer over um, a new scenario for, for that activity for you. And what did I learn this week? Um, I have a pretty thorough background in role-playing games. Uh, I started a long time ago. I'm pretty old school with the second set of Dungeons & Dragons rules. Uh, I love that game. So we're talking late 70s, early 80s. And uh, so uh, most of what I learned this week really centered around the reading and the uh, G book or the G book uh, was awesome. I was really fascinated by it. Two concepts that really struck me. Uh, was his argument that reading a manual before playing a game often leads to confusion, and I can attest to that because I, every time I buy a new game, I try to read the manual first, and it's always pretty fruitless. And uh, he connects that to having students read the textbook with essentially abstract concepts, you know, before they engage in any kind of exploration or application um, in the class. And so what this comes down to is that reading the textbook is the last step, should be the last step in the process, not the first. And this text principle, as he calls it, was really uh, pretty illuminating for me. Um, the, the second concept came out of the social mind chapter and it had to do with distributed knowledge. And that really got me thinking because uh, it, it's so true with gaming that when, when you get stuck, you go out and you get the answers from uh, your affinity group, the people that you're playing with. And um, um, I was trying to think of how to apply that. And possibly if I could deconstruct um, my curriculum and design a class where the, the students construct the text in a social manner and each student would submit a component and then there would be some kind of uh, follow-up assessment or activity that would... Um, have the students pull everyone's collected knowledge together into a product for themselves. I think it might be a really powerful way to teach my subject. And the, uh, my, my first thoughts are a wiki, but uh, it, it could be a, a document or, or what have you. Uh, a lot will be what, what my uh, technological challenges might be. And um, what was uh, empowering about um, the, the book uh, this week is that I, I think I've kind of subconsciously already built a learning model of this type in my newspaper class. Uh, the class is organized by departments, news, sports, features, op-ed, etc. And the kids typically write for their department. Sometimes there's crossover if they want to try a different domain uh, with their writing. I also have an advertising department, art department, and these experts 
uh, in my departments will peer instruct any student wishing to uh, cross over, whether it's design an ad they sold or do layout. And um, what I want to do is it, it's been really successful. And, and after reading this book about what video games have to teach us about um, learning and literacy, I really want to see how I can apply it um, to my other classes. Uh, and with that, I'm out and I will see you in the dungeons.